Hello everyone and welcome to the 6th episode of our ESP32 series. Now after watching this full video, you will come to know how you can use the BLE feature on our ESP32 board. Now BLE is quite different as compared to the classic Bluetooth which we have discussed in the last video. So in this video, I will let you know how you can interface or how you can use the BLE feature of this ESP32 board. And in the end, I will let you know how you can control appliances using the BLE feature of this ESP32 board via a smartphone application. So this is all we're going to learn in this particular video. So let's get started. Jump towards the code. So we'll open up the Arduino. Now I have already written one code called BLE underscore LED. Now on this particular code, what I'm doing is I'm just toggling the built-in LED via BLE using my smartphone, okay? So I will straight away explain you this particular code and while explaining this particular code, I will also explain you the features or the, uh, what you can say, how you can use the BLE or what kind of functions are required to use the BLE of this ESP32. Now using BLE is quite complicated as compared to using the classic Bluetooth. In classic Bluetooth, we just need to establish a serial communication and that's it. But in BLE, we need to define services, we need to define characteristics, we need to establish a server and there are so many stuffs we need to do in this BLE code. So let's jump to this code and understand it line by line. Now starting with the code, we have three necessary libraries which are required to use this BLE feature on the ASP32 boards, pretty common. Moving ahead, we have a command which says, see the following for generating UUIDs. Wait, and then we have service UUID and characteristic UUID. First of all, the first question comes here is what is UUID? UUID stands for a uni uh, universal unique identifier. Universally unique identifier is what UUID is all about. So basically, in a simple manner, it can be regarded as a unique ID. This ID is unique in the whole universe or this should be unique in the whole universe. So this is basically a 128 bit UUID which will be universal uh, means every device have services and characteristics and each service and characteristics will have a unique identification in the whole universe. So this is what all about the UUID and then we have services and characteristics. Now let me explain what is the service and characteristics on this BLE. Now this is something you need to know before using the BLE. Now services and characteristics. First of all, let's start with the services. Now let's take an example of this ESP32 board acting as a BLE device. Okay, so this is a BLE device which is programmed to give the battery status. So let's take an example. The service running on this BLE is named as battery status. Okay. So what do we mean by service? Service is basically intermediate between a server and a client. So service allow us to, you know, receive data from the client and it also allows us to send data from server to the client. So this is what all service all about. So we have a service called battery status. Okay. Inside the service, we have different characteristics. For example, Inside battery status, we can have battery percentage, battery health, battery temperature, etc. So these different type of characteristics are there inside a service called battery status. Now let me clear one thing. Service don't store the data or the service doesn't include the data. The actual data is stored in the characteristics. Okay. For example, the battery percentage value is stored under the battery percentage characteristics. Okay. Service just provide a way to store the data and to retrieve the data. Okay. So we have service and inside service, we have different, different characteristics and both service and characteristics have a unique identification that what uh, we have, you know, declared here. The so service UUID is this and characteristic UUID is this. Now, how to generate this unique identification? For that, you just need to click here. It will, it will automatically open up one page called UUID generator. So just copy this. It's totally a random number. It is totally a random number. We can just refresh this page and we can get a new UUID. Let's just uh, take this UUID. For example, I will just copy it and uh, paste it here. It's totally random. You don't need to, you know, uh, bother about this particular. I think it is not copied. Okay, copy it now and I will paste it here. Okay, so first UUID, service UUID is uh, uh, generated and let's generate another UUID for characteristics. So this is for characteristics and uh, 
then is copy it okay it's copied and I will paste it here it's a random 128 bit ID that you need to paste it here and you can get uh, easily get the UID from this website moving ahead we have one class called my callbacks on which we have a public instance called BLE character 6 callbacks now what does this callbacks mean see first of all the callbacks means a function which need to be called when a particular task is performed okay so in character 6 we can have different tasks we can write the data okay so we can read the data or the server can only notify the uh, client okay so there are three kind of uh, uh, functions which, which we can perform under character 6 so what to do when we are reading the data what to do when we are writing the data that all particular thing is need to be defined under this callback function so i have just one function which says on write that means whenever a client is writing on the esp32 ble server then what we need to do that we need to define here so on write what we are doing first of all we are storing a string called value whose uh, you know data will be this okay so it's p character 6 and to get value so inside the character 6 whatever the data is written out there we just need to store in a string called value okay so what we are we are writing from the client side with it will be saved into this string called value okay and if the value dot length means its length is greater than zero means there is something inside this uh, you know characteristic uh, uh, get value then we will print as new value and what's that value that will be printed character by character by using this function or using this for loop okay so whatever there whatever is there in the value string we are printing by this particular function then we are comparing the value okay if value contains on then we will print turning on the led and we'll just uh, turn on the built-in led of our esp32 board and if their value is off then we'll turn off the led which is the built-in led of the esp32 board so this is a simple task performed by this esp32 server we are just turning on and off the inbuilt led and uh, you can attach the relay uh, inside the built-in led pin and uh, using that we can also control the appliances it is that simple moving ahead we have the setup part which says the serial begin that is uh, beginning the serial monitor at 115200 baud rate pin mode is of course need to be declared to you know uh, specify this particular inbuilt pin as a uh, built-in led as output then we are printing some uh, data which was already written in the example code which says the download and install the BLE scanner app on your phone scan for BLE device connect to my esp32 uh, get custom characteristics custom service and see the magic this is pretty common and this is not at all useful right now okay secondly we are initializing a device BLE device as my esp32 you can this is particularly the name of the esp32 BLE device you can change the name here as per your choice you can write it as esp32 BLE anything you can write here this is just a device name we are defining then we are establishing or we are enabling the BLE server on this chip okay by the function called BLE device and create server a server is established then we are establishing the service inside the server by this function called create service with a specific service uid and inside the service we will be declaring characteristics which is defined here by characteristics and the characteristic will also have unique uh, uh, identification and we have two kind of properties as i already told there are three kind of properties reading writing and notifying so this particular characteristic has a property of reading the data property of writing the data and uh, what we need to do when the particular data is written on the esp32 you know character 6 that we are defining into set callbacks so we are calling this function called my callbacks whenever the data is written on the esp32 board after that by default we are setting the value as hello world okay so we have a characteristic okay so we are by default writing there hello world so if we are just you know uploading the code and reading that characteristic value we will be getting the data called hello world and when we are intentionally writing any data from the client then the data will be changed okay so this is just uh, by default uh, data which will be stored inside the characteristic 
and uh, we'll just starting the service we are advertising advertising means just to showcase the server to the client so we are starting the advertising also so this is all we are doing going to do in the setup part and on the void loop we are doing nothing because all the functions are continuously running on the background so this is all about the ble led code of our esp32 board let's just upload it and uh, see what we get in response so I will just select the right board and port which is already selected and we'll click on this upload button. On the ESP32 side, I will click uh, press and hold this boot button as soon as it shows connecting. So it's compiling and it's, it's connecting and I will just click this up, uh, boot button and yeah, it started uploading the code. Okay, then it's done uploading. I will open the serial monitor and press this reset button. I will maximize this. Okay, so it shows download and install BLE scanner app and all the stuff which was which was defined onto the setup part. Okay, so now I need to get my smartphone and install one BLE app. Make sure your mobile phone contains the BLE or we can say Bluetooth 4.0 or above. I have my Android smartphone. Okay, but this doesn't support the BLE. Okay, it doesn't have the Bluetooth 4.0. While I do have my uh, iPhone which supports the BLE so I will download and install one app on my iPhone and we will configure the application and we will turn on and off the LED through that mobile phone. So let's just zoom it in and see everything in action. So on my smartphone I will open this app store and will search for an application called BLEIO. So I will open this application and uh, make sure your Bluetooth is enabled. I will click on this plus button. It already shows the available BLE device which is my ESP32 uh, what uh, this is what was the name we have defined for this ESP32 BLE server we click on this ESP32 and we'll give a random name for our uh, you know smartphone so let's just take it example as uh, ESP space L E D this is uh, again a variable you can write according to your choice we'll click on this done we'll click on the save button go inside this esp led okay click on this edit button click on this plus button to add one um, switch okay so this is our service uuid which you can compare inside our code click on this this is our characteristic uuid which is also uh, we can compare in the code then we need to define what to send on on what to send on off so we'll just click and type here as uh, uh, capital O and on when we are you know switch is on and capital O double F off when the switch is off okay and we need to define the switch name we'll type it just as uh, LED this is again a variable we'll click on the save button so we have created a button and we'll click on this done okay so as soon as I toggle this button the LED will turn on and off accordingly this just turn on this button so as you can see the blue LED which is built in LED turned on and as soon as I click on this button again it will turn off so it is on and off on and off so we can you know control this uh, BLE device from our smartphone and uh, if we attach a relay on this built in LED pin we can automatically you know control appliances using this particular app via BLE on our ESP32 board so it was that simple the application side was simple the code was pretty complex if we compare it with uh, the classic Bluetooth feature so yeah this is it about this uh, application of this particular BLE on ESP32 so yeah this is all about the episode 6 of the ESP32 series I hope you got the idea of how you can use the BLE feature of ESP32 board and using that BLE feature how you can control appliances okay so yeah this is all about this video so if you got to learn anything new make sure you like this video and share it with your friends Subscribe my channel if you want to learn more about ESP32 board and also about the projects related to IoT automation and electronics. So wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.